good morning students i am your teacher clara de silva going to teach you history till now we have studied the history of ancient medieval and modern india this year we have to study the history of india in the post independence era that is after independence period sources of modern history are different from those of ancient and medieval history so let's start with chapter number 1 standard 9 sources of history we can study history with the help of various sources like written sources material sources oral sources and audio visual sources first point number 1 written sources the following sources are included in the written sources encyclopedias newspapers periodicals diaries reference books correspondence postage stamps government gadgets order of government and documents in archives the place where historical documents are preserved is called archives and the main office of the national archives of india is at new delhi newspapers the newspapers are considered the fourth pillar of democracy in the modern period through newspapers we can get information about national and international affairs art politics sports literature and social and cultural affairs press trust of india p t i after 1953 the press trust of india has provided reports photographs articles on financial and scientific issues to newspapers during the 1990s pti started using the satellite broadcast technology instead of teleprinters to send news all over the country postage stamps the postal department issues postage stamps the postage stamps don't reveal anything on their own yet a historian makes them speak there have been several changes in postage stamps since india became independent postage stamps reveal a lot to us about changing times due to the variety in the sizes of the stamps the novelty in their subject and color schemes the postal department issues postage stamps on a wide variety of themes like political leaders flowers animals birds and event or the silver golden diamond jubilees or centenary so my dear students did you understand about written sources now we are moving further to the second topic that is material sources the following sources are included among the physical sources that is material sources places of worship things in daily use royal seals coins ornaments museums clothing and modern architecture coins we can also understand history with the help of coins 
and the changes in the printing of currency notes. Reserve Bank of India has its headquarters in Mumbai. The coins from 1950 to those used at present, the metal used for making them, their different shapes, the variety of subjects on them, together help us to understand the important issues in India. Examples, coins to convey the message of population control and coins communicating the importance of agriculture and of farmers. Museums, all states of India have museums that depict and display the cultural and social heritage of the state. Example, we have Shatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Museum at Mumbai and Cricket Museum at Pune. Apart from the government museums, some private collectors also set up their own museums. They are based on distinctive subjects. Example, coins, notes, lamps and nutcrackers in different shapes and cricket etc. Now, let's move towards oral sources. These sources include folk tales, folk songs, proverbs, ballads, means long songs and poems. And Ovis, Ovis, Marathi verses in the oral tradition. For example, Tukaram's Abhang. Next, audio-visual sources, television, films, internet are called audio-visual media. Many domestic and foreign television channels also come under this head. Example, history channel, discovery channel, etc. The government of India started the Film and Television Institute of India at Pune in 1960 with the purpose of providing public education. So, till now we have seen some important sources for writing the history of modern India. The times in the 21st century are changing so rapidly that even these sources will prove to be inadequate. However, new sources are coming forth. For example, during the transformation from landline telephone to cell phones, a gadget called pager came up for connecting people, but it died out as quickly as it came up. The huge amount of information available on the internet is used for studying history. But the truth and the authenticity of this information needs to be verified. Now, it has become comparatively easy to study history with all these sources. As these sources are from the contemporary period, they are easily available. Since a subject like history touches all the aspects of our life, efforts for preservation of such a sources are made at all levels and we should also contribute to these efforts. Thank you.